His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa patronised the opening of the sixth edition of the Bahrain Agricultural and Animal Production Show, Marai 2023, held at the Bahrain International Endurance Village. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by the Minister of Municipality Affairs and Agriculture and Chairman of the Supreme Committee of the show, Wala Mubarak, and senior officials. The ceremony began with the national anthem. After that, Minister al Mubarak delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for patronising the event. He added that the directors of His Majesty the King contributed to the success of the show over the years, which enhanced the kingdom's status globally in the field of agricultural and animal production. He praised His Majesty's keenness to achieve food security in order to secure a sustainable future for future generations. He also praised the role of His Royal Highness and the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in this regard, and his efforts in overcoming all challenges to raise the status of the Kingdom in international forums. The Minister announced the launch and implementation of the National Strategy for Food Production, following the directors of His Majesty the King in his royal speech during the inauguration of the second session of the fifth legislative term, which will contribute to raising the rates of local agricultural production to more than 520 tonnes of production in the year 2024, and launching the first shrimp farming project in the Kingdom, in addition to working on a number of fish farming projects. He affirmed the Ministry's keenness to implement the directives of His Majesty the King in order to increase food production rates and raising self-sufficiency rates, such as expanding poultry production, encouraging investment in fish farming, offering areas for agricultural investment and paying attention to developing legislation that would preserve marine wealth and fish stocks for current and future generations. He affirmed that holding the show reflects the Kingdom's keenness to achieving a set of strategic objectives that contribute to global food production, protecting the animal cultural heritage and enhancing the sector's contribution to the domestic product he concluded by thanking all sponsors and contributors of the event, as well as ministries and government institutions for assuring the success of the event. He wished His Majesty the King a lasting good health and happiness, and for Bahrain a further progress and prosperity. ويا تعمه ويا زين والانفالي يقيذنا بالحياة من باكر الوسمي سحب تتالى يزيد الأول التالي ضاع السمك في 
كل الافات يا محمد يا عز طهر النوالي وما لاح في منشا سمى المجد فراد الا بجود من امطر وسالي بنات من؟ أنا كريمة من على دهمان يضرب جيوش الضد في الميدان أنا أبوي اللي علم مزغير من فعلته شيخ العدا متحير شطات مغاني دار الأحباب يا زيد قم لي على مثل القطعة الفريدة اسرور His Majesty the King then honoured the first place winners and sponsors of the event. After that, Minister Al Mubarak presented His Majesty with a commemorative gift. The members of the Supreme Committee of the show greeted His Majesty the King. His Majesty affirmed the Kingdom's keenness in regards to supporting the animal and agricultural sector for the importance in achieving comprehensive development and raising food security rates and ensuring its sustainability. His Majesty praised the government plans and projects led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister that targets the areas of agricultural, livestock and marine development to enhance food security and develop the food industry. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs in its efforts in organising this high profile event, highlighting its role in enhancing innovation, developing animal and agricultural production and ensuring the provision of its resources, as well as its keenness to benefit from modern technologies in implementing a number of projects. His Majesty also praised the efforts of the Royal Guard for the BDF, affirming its participation contributes to ensuring the success of the event. His Majesty hailed the successes of the show since its launch and praised the wide international participation of witnesses over the years, which affirms Bahrain's leadership role in attracting such events that enhance the national economy and attract investments. 
His Majesty also praised the participation of local companies and the keenness to maintain a local production and work in developing it and raise its quality through benefiting from international expertise. His Majesty praised the cultural, educational and entertainment events and activities accompanying the show, which witnessed the participation of a number of exhibitors and attracted wide audience from inside and outside the Kingdom. His Majesty appreciated all the sincere national efforts that contributed to the success of this international event. His Majesty stressed the importance of continuing efforts to enhance the position of the Kingdom of Bahrain as one of the most important investment destinations by creating opportunities and attractive elements for investors in a way that serves the process of civilizational development. After that, His Majesty the King was bid farewell. The Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to preserve its cultural and civilizational heritage and is working on paths to, to future generations, which is reflected by the Bahrain Agricultural and Animal Production Show, Mirai. Since its inception, Mirai has been keen to strengthen Bahrain's pioneering position and role in preserving its heritage and authentic culture by passing the cultural heritage to current and future generations through a series of live shows and displays of rare breeds of animals. The show has also been keen to display popular arts, such as the Bahraini Arta and other arts that are part of the cultural identity. Mirai was able to provide important opportunities for its visitors to learn about their authentic Bahraini culture and heritage. The Bahrain Agricultural and Animal Production Show is an important platform for preserving Bahraini heritage and contributes to spreading cultural awareness among Bahraini society. The Minister of Interior and Chairman of the Civil Defence Council, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the Council's meeting. The meeting was attended by the Foreign Affairs Minister, Municipalities Affairs and Agricultural Minister, Transportation and Telecommunications Minister, Works Minister, Electricity and Water Affairs Minister, Health Minister, Housing and Urban Planning Minister and the Chief of Public Security. The Minister of Interior noted that the meeting reinforces civil protection procedures to promote general safety. The Council was briefed on updating the National Emergency Strategy, the programme for preparing the National Risk Register 2024 to 2028 and other topics, reviewed by the National Civil Emergency Management Committee, in which the Minister highlighted the formation of a committee to maintain and develop shelter centres and provide the requirements by international standards. The meeting discussed mechanisms to develop the National Civil Protection Platform that was launched on November the 3rd, in which interactive visits to the website reached more than 30,000, along with the remarkable demand for registration through the Platform for Civil Defence Service Voluntary Programme. General Sheikh Rashid underlined the significance of taking the required steps for the voluntary programme, healing the following rate of the platform in Bahrain and abroad for its comprehensive general safety instructions. He urged the public to provide home safety tools for emergencies, including radiation contamination. The Minister pointed out the role of specialised devices and laboratories in measuring air, water and environment in general, and issuing concerned urgent reports within the framework of working to protect citizens and provide alternative solutions to the dangers of radioactive pollution. General Sheikh Rashid stressed the importance of increasing national exercises and implementing them with the participation of various sectors and by realistic scenarios. The meeting highlighted a national mechanism for emergency awareness and warning messages through text messages covering all risks and threats in five languages, in addition to preparing an action plan in cooperation with the International Atomic Energy Agency on enhancing national preparedness and response to nuclear or radiological emergencies 2023 to 2026. They were also briefed on the rainy season and procedures taken to limit water pooling in which he hailed the efforts of the ministries and concerned authorities to redress rain reports. For his part, the Minister of Works praised the swift response of the Interior Ministry in dealing with the rainy season. The Minister of Transportation called for the importance of depending on the official weather reports by Meteorological Directorate. The UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al-Nayan, 
received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, on the occasion of his visit to Abu Dhabi to participate in the meeting of the Joint Supreme Committee between the two brotherly countries. The Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the President and the wishes of a lasting good health to His Highness and further progress and prosperity to the UAE. His Highness instructed the Minister to convey his greetings and appreciation to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness and his wishes of further progress and prosperity for Bahrain and its people. His Highness welcomed the Minister to the 11th meeting of the Joint Committee between the two brotherly countries, headed by the foreign ministers of the two countries. They discussed the close fraternal relations between Bahrain and the UAE and the remarkable growth and development they are witnessing in various fields and stressed the importance of continuing a joint consultation and coordination in a way that serves common interests and goals, in addition to exchanging visions and views on a number of regional and international issues of common interest. The meeting of the 11th session of the Joint Higher Committee between Bahrain and the UAE was held in Abu Dhabi, headed by UAE Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nayan, and Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, in the presence of senior officials and representatives participating in the work of the committee. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed had delivered a speech in which he welcomed the Minister and Bahrain's delegation, praising the strong fraternal relations between the two countries and stress the need to take advantage of the available opportunities to consolidate economic, investment, cultural and social cooperation relations. Dr Alziani also delivered a speech in which he expressed his pride in the close and distinguished fraternal relations between the two countries and peoples. He expressed his congratulations on the UAE hosting COP28 conference on climate change scheduled to be held this November. The Minister also praised the political and diplomatic cooperation and coordination between the two countries towards regional and international issues and challenges, noting the unity of the Arab and Islamic position towards the Palestine issue and the ongoing war in the Gaza Strip. Then a number of memorandums of joint understanding were signed for cooperation between the two countries in the fields of renewable energy, industrial revolution, human resources in the civil service, vocational qualifications and training, and university education. The first meeting of the Egyptian Bahraini Governmental Committee for Commercial, Economic, Scientific and Technological Cooperation was held, headed by the Egyptian Minister of Finance, Dr. Mohamed Maid and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The meeting aims to develop bilateral relations between the two brotherly countries in light of the support it receives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Egyptian Prime Minister Dr Mustafa Malbouli. The committee welcomed the agreement of a number of the ministries, agencies and public companies in the two countries on 15 cooperation initiatives and 13 MOUs that are being finalised in preparation to be signed. The two sides also agreed to join efforts to deepen bilateral cooperation and increase trade exchange opportunities to enhance investment and inter-trade and exchange visits by trade delegations and participate in commercial exhibitions. The aspects of cooperation included understanding the areas of protecting competition and preventing monopolism practices, an integrative industrial partnership to achieve sustainable economic development and regional and Arab integration. The Prime Minister of Egypt, Dr Mustafa Madbouli, received the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa as part of his visit to Egypt to head the Bahraini delegation, participating in the first meeting of the Bahraini Egyptian Governmental Committee for Commercial, Economic, Scientific and Technological Cooperation. The Minister stressed the depth of fraternal relations between Bahrain and Egypt, which are based on solid foundations of cooperation in various fields, thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah Al Sisi with the contributions follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He noted the Kingdom's keenness to advance bilateral relations. He also conveyed the greetings of His Majesty and His Royal Highness to the Egyptian President and Prime Minister. 
The Prime Minister asked the Minister to convey his greetings to His Majesty and His Royal Highness and his wishes of continued health and happiness to them and further growth and prosperity to the people of Bahrain. Sheikh Salman noted the importance of the outcomes of the meeting and the initiatives and programmes that were discussed that contribute to the growth and progress of the two countries. He praised the role of the committee in strengthening bilateral relations and strategic partnerships in the commercial, industrial, economic, scientific, technological, tourism and urban fields. The Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr Mohammed bin Dana, received a delegation from Numaliga, a subsidiary of Indian Petroleum Corporation, led by the Director of Finance, Sri Sanjay Chowdhury. The meeting discussed ways to enhance cooperation in various oil projects. The Minister commended the expertise and achievements of Indian Petroleum companies in excavation, extraction, production and refinery operations. Chowdhury highlighted the important programmes and activities across all sectors, including strategic initiatives, supporting renewable energy and how it can benefit the production of low-carbon environmental friendly energy that contributes to the preservation of the environment. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Iyas bin Ibrahim Hamedan, participated in the 15th session of the Arab Ministerial Council for Water and the 5th Arab Water Conference, which was held in Riyadh, with the participation of ministers responsible for the water sector in the Arab world. The Minister stressed the importance of strengthening policies of integration and interconnection in the management of water sectors and expanding the use of modern technologies in order to provide solutions to the challenges associated with achieving water security. The Minister praised the policies taken by Bahrain within the framework of protecting and developing water resources to ensure their optimal use for various purposes and the initiatives that contribute to enhancing the sustainability of water resources. He also indicated that the National Water Strategy of Bahrain and its implementation plan are consistent with the goals of the UN Development Programme 2030. The Supreme Council for Women, in partnership with the Labour Fund at Tam Keen, organised a panel discussion that hosted prominent Bahraini women entrepreneurs from various sectors. The panellists discussed the opportunities and challenges they faced during their entrepreneurial journey. The event took place at Riyadh Centre, which is the Women Business Incubator that was established in partnership between the SEW, Tamkeen and Bahrain Development Bank. The National Bureau for Revenue, the NBR, has conducted 174 inspection visits within the local markets of the Governorates of Bahrain during October. The campaigns resulted in reporting 37 violations that required the imposition of administrative fines in accordance with the VAT and excise law, in addition to monitoring several suspicions of VAT and excise evasion that may require the precautionary closing of several businesses. The NBR will take legal action against the violating businesses and refer those who are proven to have committed one of the evasion crimes to the competent authorities to initiate a criminal case against them, which may be punishable by imprisonment for five years and a fine equivalent to three times the amount of VAT due, according to the VAT law, or by imprisonment for one year and a fine equivalent to double the evaded excise, according to the excise law. The NBR aims to ensure that the displayed price of the goods and services is inclusive of VAT and placing the VAT registration certificate in a visible place in the establishment.